Um, my courses, none of which I've ever seen you attend, although you're welcome to attend them all. And I will give you the details of when, where, and so on. Uh, deal with Armenian language and literature, as well as mythology, history, and so on. Uh, this semester I'm giving a course. Um, this semester I'm giving a course on Armenian magical texts. Uh, the basis of the course is a, an unpublished manuscript uh, written probably in Istanbul around the year 1890. Uh, and it is in Armenian script, but large portions of it are in Turkish, Arabic, and Persian. One of my students is a graduate student from Bilkent University in Ankara mm -hmm. named Murat Chankara, uh, who is the pupil of my colleague Engin Sezer from the Near East Department. Uh, and other students deal with other aspects of the text. He deals with Armeno Turkish. His particular interest is in the Armeno Turkish novel as a basis for the Ottoman novel. <clears throat> there is in the Armenian department at Harvard absolutely no anti-Turkish, anti-Azeri, anti-any, anti-Islamic racism, prejudice, science, scientific uh, particularity. By contrast, however, I remember that uh, about 12 years ago, the John F. Kennedy School of Government, uh, whose t-shirt I'm wearing, uh, held a conference on the Transcaucasus. Uh, and while I was buying some groceries, I ran into two of the participants, two ladies from Azerbaijan, from Baku. Uh, I, I didn't know they were from Azerbaijan. I heard them speaking Russian, so I offered to carry their heavy bags for them. and they, and. they when they found out I was professor of Armenian, they acted as though I was about to eat them. I said, no, no, it's, it's okay, you're just, your guests here, and uh, I'm just trying to be helpful. And that I said, I'm curious that I wasn't asked to, to participate in the conference, though. I had no knowledge that it was taking, taking place. And they said, well, if you, if you had participated, we would have, um, we would have objected. I said, why is that? So because there is an Armenian program at Harvard, but there is no Azerbaijan program, and this is um, asymmetric. I said, well, I'm the only person who does any Armenian here. We have, however, Jemal Kafadar, Guru Nejib Olu, uh, in those days Shinasi Beytekin, uh, and uh, my colleague Engin. Those are four people who deal with every aspect of Turkic, Turkic and Turkish culture. So I would say that there was an asymmetry the other way. But the point is that amongst my colleagues, we never felt that asymmetry, nor do I feel it with my students. What I was speaking, so I think to ask me personally whether I am in any way supporting some sort of bigotry or pre prejudice is, is a piece of arrogant effrontery and totally unjustifiable and a product of ignorance. You know nothing of my work, nothing of my courses, and nothing about me. Furthermore, furthermore, in my, in my statements today, and those of my colleagues, we spoke not about uh, political opinions or about uh, political movements, but about facts. I mentioned, for example, that the word Nachichevan itself is a Middle Iranian term which is first attested in Armenia, yeah? And spoke about the numerous events in Armenian history and monuments of Armenian culture that come from Nachichevan. Uh, the ethnic cleansing of Armenians from Nachichevan, which was always recognized as part of historical Armenia, actually began in the Stalin era. And it was <clears throat> and this happened because Lenin acceded to Turkish pressure, because Lenin was a great supporter of Ataturk. Uh, he acceded to Turkish pressure to make Nachichevan, and indeed Artsakh, or Nagorno-Karabakh, part of the Republic of Azerbaijan. 
Yeah? Now, this was done as part of the Soviet nationalities policy, which I'm sure you've studied. There are many, many areas in Caucasus which we um, <coughs> which which are disputed now and which are areas of civil conflict because of the havoc uh, wrought by the Soviet nationalities policy. One has to mention only Abkhazia, uh, Southern Ossetia, very many areas. And we, we, we deal with all of these. Um, I, I don't think it would be at all fair to say that Azerbaijan is the only society that practices systematic destruction of cultural monuments, and I think I made that point too, that there are many others. Uh, and I think that uh, Professor Sim made the point as well when he spoke about the destruction of Serbian churches in Kosovo. Uh, this is an area of contention actually between the United States and Russia, and in, in this instance the United States I think is very much in the wrong. So. Uh, so we're speaking here about uh, cultural destruction. We're not speaking here about racism or prejudice or any of those other things. Um, we can continue this discussion at another time because there are other questions. Uh, but I'll give you all of my uh, data and we can talk properly. Okay, then can I ask the question? Yeah, of course. No, so, yeah. um, have you ever been to Akshivan? Yes. Yes. Have you been to Jilfa? Yes. Have you seen a graveyard? Uh, I've just passed uh, from Jova. Uh, by train? But, okay, uh, no, by car. By car. But, uh, uh, but, uh, okay, uh, have you ever been to Shusha? And uh, have you ever seen the photos of uh, uh, destroyed mosques uh, and destroyed uh, graveyards? Well, because sorry, sorry. I, I, have, I, I have. No, I have. No, very much. We're not talking here. 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 We're not in the case around the cultural, cultural cleansing of the country. Can you, can you repeat the question again? Does, does the, do you accept do you that monuments have been destroyed in the case uh, of I think no, because, uh, Why the, do okay, you know? be, because okay. my documents here uh, that have references to Russian and uh, British and other uh, other and scientists uh, so, declare so, that there so you isn't. think outside no, experts? I mean, do you I, think outside experts should go to Nakhichevan and look? I think yes. Yes. I think yes. Both to Karabakh region and to Nakhichevan okay. region. Okay. Joint mm -hmm. scientific committee You're should go there. We acknowledge, acknowledge your differing position. Okay. Can we continue? And afterwards, with more. Okay. Okay. No. No. So, so, no, 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 sir, you're out of order. order. No. But uh, these are available if you want to ask. Okay. Can I take your. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Thank you. There are other questions. Muse Hart Sum Der Gambit, the answer. Okay, there are other questions. Yes. Yes. Vegan, go ahead, yes. You know it, the Azeri language, uh, when you went to that region, were you able to speak with the people? Or were you given a, an interpreter to accompany you? No, I went there completely unofficially. I went there as a tourist, as a, as a, as a transit, in the transit yeah. tourist, going on to, on to Baku. Um, so, of course, I didn't have any accreditation or any um, translator. Um, the people there speak Turkish, uh, it was in Turkish was in Azari dialect. So it's easy enough. I can speak basic Turkish, so I was able to travel around. So there wasn't any problem. You speak Turkish? Yeah, a little bit. I traveled that region myself, but on the other side border, when all the 1971, my brother and I started the Annual Life Museum of America. I, at the museum, he the library. So I took a trip to Greece, Turkey, around Lebanon. And as we went by, all those monuments were there. Pointed out by a Iranian, actually. Could I ask a question? Garami Ar Tsumato? If you translate. Uh, yeah, I'll translate my question after I ask it. Yes, I talk Tarkman, Tarkman, and Munchim Narinama. Pabukan Basmatif. 
աշխարերի վրա կանտակված են, վերևում կանտակված են, մեկ կլխանի երկու մարմնով գազմված մի անասուն։ Հավանապար ինչ-որ չի դեմ առասպելական թևավոր երկեմը, դա աստ կարդիքիտ ինչպիսի կանտակում է, ինչ է նկայաց I was asking the question that on many of the Khachkars, there is a, an animal consisting of one head and two bodies, sometimes tevavor, sometimes with wings. And I was wondering, what does it depict in your opinion? <laughs> Arvestov, Arvesti Arumu, Usumnasirvat Chi. Hasn't been studied yet, really. Usumnasirvat Chi. Yevda, Yerok Mek Gurkhani, Yerku Yerku Marmani, Kentanaka Marmanov, Araspelakan, Inchfor Patre, Wora, Anzamis, Akan, Usumnasir Sam Mech Chen Korace, Cheshpin Sam Asert Inchayan, it's Nelkasum, Arajnada. Հաստակ չէ։ Հացիք մեր կան մի քանի ասպեսի բաղ է, բայց դրանք չեն պաստրում, ասեն գրավոր մյուս նույթերով, որեմ խորան ուսունասիրության անհաժեշնություն կա այդ թեման պարձելու համար։ Եթե ավելցնեմ մեկ հարցում, ոյև է այլ ուր Հայաստանում պատկերված է նման առասպելական կենտանում։ Ոչ, ուր իշտեր ես են չեմ հանդիպեր, դա եզակ է ջուղային, իմ իչ այլոս պետք ասեղ ջուղայական խաչկարերի առուվեստը բազմատ այդ դետալի� չորս խաչի պատքեր, վեց խաչի պատքեր մեր, եթե դուք նայեք արվեստը, ժողայի խաչքարերի արվեստը դրանք հատում բարձը կոտողներ են, ավելի ճիշտ նախա Քրիստոնյական և վաղ Քրիստոնյական ուրանտական կոտողներն են հիշեցնում և վաղ Քրիստոնյական կարակող կոտողներ են հիշեցնում։ Եվ դա հատուկ է ժողական արվեստի համար, ժողական խաչկալիր համար։ Անպես որ արվեստավարական տեսագետից this two-bodied, one-headed mythical beast, you saw it twice, I think, in the slides, is not portrayed elsewhere in Armenia than in Julfa, and it hasn't been the object yet of sufficient study for any theories to be advanced on what it is. And Professor Ivazian added that some of the other steelies, some of the other uh, gravestones and monument stones in Julfa uh, are very archaic in form and unusual in style. There's, some of them recall the four-sided, rather narrow monuments of early Christian Armenia, and some of them look like, in, in their general pattern, look like Urartian monuments. Um, so the, this material has to be studied further. Um, uh, I, pr I promise to work on it, but uh, yeah. Um, th